there, I'm Conchetta, and I'm living and working here in the lovely mountains in Denver, Colorado. I've been working as an actor for a little over two years. I do uh, film, television, theater, lots of radio commercials from everything from Shane Jewelers to the Tree Farm in Longmont. I'm very happy to be working with Leo. I've done several videos with him, uh, climbing up little walls, wielding major power tools, learning a lot about the construction business, and uh, enjoying every minute of it. I hope you enjoy this video. Looking forward to working with you, and let's get to work. Before every rig move, you need to check the air pressure on all the tires on the rig. The pressure needs to be no less than 30 psi and no more than 40. Thirty. That's low. If the tire pressure is lower than 30 psi, you must get the tires inflated and back up to the 35 to 40 psi mark before moving. Also, remember to look at the tread and sidewalls for any cracks, shedding, or peeling. Make sure there are no cuts or bulges in the sidewalls. Tell your rig manager if you find any defects. An underinflated or damaged tire could become a serious safety hazard if a blowout occurs while the rig is moving on the road. The driver could lose control of the rig, endangering himself and the public. Even if no one is hurt, the downtime to change a tire will cost the company money and a late arrival to the new location. Oil levels on the 60 series Detroit diesel must be checked after every eight hours of operation. The engine should be warm before checking the oil. When you're checking the oil, it's important to make sure you're not only getting an accurate reading on the oil level, but also paying attention to the color and smell of the oil. Oil levels must be between the add and full marks on the stick. Looks good. If you get a reading that's above or below these marks, wipe off the stick and check the oil again. If the oil levels are still too high, it could mean a fuel leak in the crankcase, especially if the oil looks foamy or smells like diesel fuel. If the levels are too low, especially if the oil is thick, dark, or smells burned, it's time for an oil change. In either case, tell your rig manager immediately.